All right, everybody, it is time finally for the Ticonderoga Stooges here in Baseball America 2019 using History Maker Baseball. And as soon as I want to get started here, Tabby is making some noise. I don't know what the deal is with that, but hopefully she will settle down and, and keep quiet. And History Maker Baseball from Play.com on the channel again as the 2019 Baseball America set. First game, I've actually got around to playing this thing. I've set this league up a couple different ways, trying to figure out how to do it best. And uh, hopefully I've got it straight now. So we'll move this out of the way. And introduce the two teams. Of course, it will be Team 7, the Ticonderoga Stooges, taking on Team 8, the Roswell Space Cadets from Roswell, New Mexico. Of course, Ticonderoga being from New York. So Roswell had to make the trip northeast to face Ticonderoga. And let's go through the rosters very quickly for each team. Each team has 24 players on it. And it's divided up 12 and 12, 12 position players and 12 pitchers, five starters, seven relievers. Um, if you look at the rest of the league, I've got these set up in, there's 12 teams in the Baseball America set. I've got them broken down into two 16 divisions, the East and the not so far East, and that's based on city. So we have the Ticonderoga Stooges. We have the Nova Scotia Ball Club. Nova, Nova Scotia Schooners, I should say. They're Team 9. Saginaw is Team 1. They're the Saginaw Brouhaha's. The Muncie Ballbusters are Team 2. They're from Muncie, Indiana. Rock, um, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. The Rocky Mount Flyers are from Rocky Mount. And Florence, these are the Florence Hendersons from Florence, South Carolina. They make up the East. In the not so far east, we've got El Segundo, the El Segundo Sun. Uh, we've got Eugene in Team 5, Eugene. And I believe they are the, I don't have it in front of me, but I believe they are the Lumberjacks, the Eugene Lumberjacks. Roswell, you already know about. Golden Sombreros, a team from last year that's stayed in existence, the Golden Sombreros. They're a Team 12. Waxahachie, the Waxahachie team. And they are the Gauchos, the Waxahachie Gauchos, are Team 6 from Waxahachie, Texas. You might remember a famous wrestler, Blackjack Mulligan, was from Waxahachie, Texas. And then Provo, Utah. And these, the, the players on this team don't like to socialize too much. They're kind of like to be by themselves. So they are the Provo Loners. And get your groans out of the way now because that was pretty cheesy. All right, so now let's look at the actual player cards themselves. Our starting lineups, I should say. First, for the visiting team eight, visiting Roswell Ball Club, the Roswell Space Cadets. Center field is John. Let's see if I can get him in focus here. John Pender in center. Ron Mazzoli is in left. Todd Sargent is at first base. He hits third. Look at that card. That's loaded. Uh, let's see, batting cleanup will be center fielder Mike Kettle. Mac McAvoy is the catcher. He will hit fifth. Mariano Hernandez at second base will hit sixth. Miguel Rulis is at third base. He will hit seventh. And Kogi Hirota, the shortstop, will bat eighth. And, of course, the pitcher bats ninth because we're playing real baseball here. No DH in this league. This is real baseball, real man's baseball. We are using the pitcher hitting. And the pitcher for the Space Cadets is Donnie Lee Gross, who's double flashed with semi-control. Now, let's look at the bench players and the bullpen for the Space Cadets. On the bench, they have outfielder Kareem McCarthy. They have outfielder Kyle Drees. They have middle infielder Porfiro Conti. And they have catcher Darren Room. And in the bullpen, they've got Reese, 
Let's get this focus here, folks. Come on now. Here we go. All right. Reese Bonneberger. Diego Navarre. Andy Gordon. Morgan Cooksey. Julio Jose. And their closer is Tracy Reddy. So we'll see if he's ready to come in. He's a semi-ace. The other starters and bullpen guys, Tyrone Harper, Gus Groover, Chris Parrish, Kurt Meacham, and Alex Moreno. That finishes out the 24-man roster of the Space Cadets. Now let's look at the starting lineup for your Ticonderoga Stooges. Leading off in center field will be Grant Eagle. Batting second at second base is Dave Wedge. Hitting third, if I can get them apart, they're still rather new and stick together on me. Ah, I'll get out of here. All right, hitting third, right fielder Alvaro Morgan. Batting cleanup, third baseman Steve Farone. Actually, I believe he's, yeah, it's a third base, Steve Farone. Alex Imbrogno is at first base, he will hit fifth. Santos Uraneta, the catcher, will hit sixth. Ismael Castillo, shortstop, will hit 7th. Bud Law in left field will hit 8th. And batting ninth, the pitcher, Steve Shaw. Steve Shaw is an ace, star, double flash with control. Let's go to the, the bench. Bench players for the Stooges. Reggie Horner, reserve infielder. Junior Ayala, utility player. Tommy Orsalak, the backup catcher. And a backup outfielder, Rosario Hill. Let's look at their bullpen. Roberto Morales. Richie Danielson. Dane Vargo. Jeff Plum. Ross Nutter. Craig Van Galder. And their closer, Dennis Big Game Hunter, is their closer. He's a semi ace double flash with control. Their other starters, Jose Davalos, Paul Fiala, Raymond Vergara, and John Bielski. So that is your 2019 Ticonderoga Stooges. Let's meet the umpires for today's game. But behind the plate is going to be crew chief Manny Hernandez. And he is semi-respected. At first base is Dennis Looper. Patrolling second base is Bobby Gatewood. And at third base is Danny Hedrick. All right, all those festivities are now out of the way. So we're ready to get down to some baseball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the universal instant results chart to play out the other games besides the Ticonderoga games. And I'm gonna play all the Ticonderoga games and see how they do. It's a 12-team league, so we play each other 11 times, or 11 other teams, I should say, but it is going to be heavy towards your own division. So they're going to play the Ticonderogas in the East. They're going to play the other five teams in the East six times, three at home, three and away. So that gives you a total of 30 games. And then the other six teams are going to play four times, two at home, two on the road. Gives you a total of 24. Add them together, you get 54 and it's sort of like the Tenacious League, but not exactly, um, but sort of like that format. But, uh, and then what we're going to do is have, of course, with six teams in each division, you're going to have a wild uh, first and second place team. They're going to play each other in the division championships, and then the, the, the final, the two division winners will meet. All right, all those festivities are now finally out of the way. We're nine, almost ten minutes in. We can finally get to some baseball. Hopefully you haven't tuned out yet while I was going through all that but it's opening day so you give a little bit more frivolity and almost forgot good sports park is where we're playing and that is semi-small and normal semi-small to left and normal to right handers both teams because it's semi because it's opening day are both semi harmonious and I'm using the Steve Tower method of second batter is the hot batter and the eighth batter is the cold batter all right so we are ready to go I'll see if I can get the book all the way on here without messing everything up. So let's see if I can get that done. May have to push this up here a little bit more and push this back a little bit more because I want to get all the book in there so you can see the results. All right, so leading things off, 
for the cadets, space cadets, is John Pender. He's a switch hitter facing Steve Shaw. And we'll go ahead and put Shaw's card right there where you can see it better, hopefully. I think you can see it okay. All right, here's the first pitch of the 2019 Baseball America season, Ticonderoga style. 146, 146, does he have flash? Steve Shaw has double flash. It asks us to have a good eye, and he does not. He has a semi good eye, but the side eye let him down, so Pender will strike out. And since it's a double flash, that means Ron Mazzoli is going to strike out as well. So, first two batters of the game are down on strikes, courtesy of double flash. So, double eye poke right there off the get go, as the Space Cadets were not able to get that vertical hand up to block it, and the, the double eye poke went through. So here's Todd Sargent. He's the general of the team, so to speak. 3-5-6, that's the left-right split in the game. Sargent's a righty, Shao's a righty, so that's a strikeout. And Steve Shao has struck out the side here in the first inning. Make quick work of the Space Cadets. And we go to the bottom of the first, it's no score. And I'll show you the score sheet as well. It's the History Maker score sheet. And the scorekeeper is a little bit different. It's not done by inning, it's done by at, at bat. So this column is first at bat, second at bat, third at bat, so forth. And after each inning, you kind of draw a solid line. That tells you that this is the first inning of action. Of course, 3Ks don't tell you a whole lot, except it's 3Ks. All right, so now we're ready for the Stooges to come out firing. And Donnie Lee Gross, the pitcher, he's got double flash as well with semi control. So they got to keep an eye out on that double, don't get double eye poked back. So Grant Eagle, Grant Eagle, semi champion and a slugger in the leadoff position, trying to get some oomph in the beginning of the lineup here. 3 5 6 again. So another 3 5 6. He's a righty. Gross is a righty. It's another strikeout. A circle K, and I always circle the K's when the, the left-right split comes up to see how often it does. And how about that? Two of the first four bats, the left-right split has come in. Here's Dave Wedge, second baseman. 3 4 5, 3 4 5, iron catcher. The catcher is McAvoy, and he is neutral. He's not iron. So we go over here. Does the batter have a good eye? No, he doesn't. It's another strikeout. So we've had five strikeouts in a row, and that one's in blue. So we're going to the right now chart for the bat for Alvaro Morgan. And Alvaro Morgan will be off this right now chart. Gross is semi hot, and Morgan is neutral. Now they're both neutral. 1-5. One 1-5 five. One five says cold batter. No, he's not. If he was, he would take a third a call third strike. Otherwise, batter pounces on pitch for a single. So how about that? Alvaro Morgan, since he was not cold, gets that base hit and kind of breaks up that strikeout streak that was going on. And that will allow Steve Ferrone, the third baseman, to come up to bat. He's a slugger and a semi-home run king. One, two, six. Is he fresh? Yes, it's a line out to second. And the inning is over. And freshness in this game is, to, is defined by the first three innings. And since we're in the first inning, he's obviously fresh. Or as Cool in the Gang would say, fresh. Okay, you can't unhear that. Sorry about that. All right, here's Mike Kettle. How do I call him the Kettle Black? Here he is, Kettle, center fielder. Three, four, six. Blank for the pitcher. Is he eager? He is not eager, so he will walk. If he's active, he will steal, but he's stoic. In fact, a lot of the players on the Space Cadets are stoic, so no stolen base, but we'll go to chemistry. And they're both semi harmonious based on pregame, based on it being opening day, I should say. Chuck McAvoy will step in on this semi harmonious role. Both teams are now neutral, 4 4. Batting team distance, no. Outfielder loses track of ball. Oh, I'm sorry, pitching team distance, my bad. Out, and the st answer is still no. Outfielder loses track of ball, rolls in the corner for a double, otherwise a deep fly out to center field. So, since they weren't dissonant, that meant that Grant Eagle was able to get a hold of that. There's one away from Mariano Hernandez, or Mariano Hernandez. 3-4-6. Same situation here. Is he eager? He's semi-eager. The side eye says he's eager, so it's going to be a fly to center. And Grant Eagle puts that one away. 
So two down for Miguel Rulis, third baseman. One, three, four, gold catcher. Uraneta is not gold, he's neutral, so we skip that. Is he a champion? No, he's not a champion. We got outfield drama. So an outfield drama check on the Stooges. See how they hold out. In their outfield, Eagle is neutral. Law is semi-iron, and so is Morgan. He's also semi-iron, so not a very good fielding team. 3-3. Three, three. Left fielder gold. No, he's iron, so it's going to be a single. Uh, let's see here. Quick retrieve a single. Since he's not, it's a single, and it's batter second on an error. So how about that? So it's a single, which will move Kettle to second, and then the error, the E7, is going to put them both at third base. Or in scoring position, I should say. Second and third, two outs. Put the E7 on Mr. Law. So there's two away with two on for shortstop Kogi Hirota. Now they could walk him and pitch to Donnie Lee Gross, but uh, Shao, Shao's going to try to pitch to this weaker hitter and blow something by him. One, two, four. Does he have control? Yes, he does. It's a ground out to short. And the inning is over. So they pitch around the walk in the air. And we go to the bottom of the second. No score here from Good Sports Park. All right, so Alex Imbrogno will lead things off, first baseman. 3-5-6, we got another 3-5-6 roll. He's a righty. Donnie Lee Gross is a righty. It's another Circle K strikeout. So a lot of 3-5-6s, unusual. Don't usually get that many. Had three already. Most times you don't get three in the whole game. Here is Santos Urinetta. 5-6-6, six, six. is he wild? No, does he have a good eye? No, he does not. It's a strikeout. So a strikeout, another strikeout for out number two, and that's in blue, so we're going to the right now chart. Donnie Lee Gross has four strikeouts already, and at the right now chart is Ismael Castillo. He is neutral, and Donnie Lee Gross is hot. So we got a hot pitcher and a neutral batter, 2-6. Hot pitcher, yes, overpowers batter with best pitch for strikeout. So strikeout number five for Donnie Lee Gross. And He's matching Mr. Shao pitch for pitch. And we go to top of the third. No score. And now the pitcher is up. Donnie Lee Gross. He's going to lead off the third. He's not much of a hitter, as you can see. Another 3-5-6. Good grief. How many of those can you have? Another right-hander versus right-handed matchup. It's another circle K. And that's one away. That'll bring up top of the order, John Pender. 3-5-5. Is he a struggler? Nope. Is the batter a champion? No. It's going to be a ground out to second unless he's a whiffer. He's not a whiffer, so it's just a ground out to the second baseman, Mr. Wedge. And there's two down for Ron Mazzoli. Kind of reminds me of cooking spray. 2-3-4. Runners on base. Plate drama. Nope. Nobody's on base. Is he a hot batter? No, he's not a hot batter. So he will pop the third. Handle over there by Mr. Farone. And the inning is over. So nothing doing there. We go to the bottom of the third. And Steve Shaw will lead things off for the Stooges. See what he can do. 1-2-6. Is he fresh? Yes, it's a line out the second. One away. And we go back to the top of the order for Bud Law. Five, six, six. Does he have a good eye? No, he doesn't. Another strikeout. Boy, Donnie Lee Gross is just racking up the Ks. He has six strikeouts already in less in two and two thirds innings. Here's Grant Eagle. One, two, five. He's not a struggler. Is Grand Eagle patient? No, he's not. He's going to ground to third unless it's a whiffer. He is not. So it's just a grounder to third. And after three complete, we got nothing going on here at Good Sports Park. We got a pitching duel is what we got going on. No score after three. Both pitchers are now semi-fresh. And I'll show a quick look of the scoreboard. You can look at all those Ks, particularly down here for Donnie Lee Gross. He's got six of them. Now, Shao 
Started out with three in a row and has only had one since, so he's at four. But both pitchers going strong. All right, here's Todd Sargent. One, three, six. Is he an ace? Shao is an ace. So, therefore, it's a strikeout unless he has a good eye, which he does not. So, as soon as I said he was low on strikeouts, he picks up strikeout number five. And we go on to Mike Kettle. Kettle actually walked his first trip. Two, six, six. Nobody's on first. He's not the leadoff batter, so he's going to fly to right. Out number two. And that's going to send us to Chuck, I'm sorry, Mac McAvoy. Why I want to call him Chuck. One, three, six. Is he an ace? Yes, he is. It's another strikeout for Mr. Shao. And four innings of shutout ball. He's up now to six strikeouts. Tied with Donnie Lee Gross. And here's Dave Wedge. Two, two, six. Is the hit by pitch? No. Desire Dice says no. Is it a cleanup batter? Wedge is the second place hitter, not the cleanup batter. It means he will fly to left. He's not a whiffer, so he's just going to fly to left. One away for Alvaro Morgan. And he singled. I'm sorry, that was supposed to be Morgan's at bat, not Wedge. My bad. I didn't move the, the thing around. So let's look at Morgan and go back to that result. Uh, let's see, what was the result now? I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's 226. He's still not the cleanup batter, so the result's still the same, although he is a semi whiffer. And now I don't remember if the desire die was a dot or not. So I'm just going to leave it as a fly to left. And we'll just go from there. So. Sorry about that, I had the players out of order. Here's Farone with one out. 155, is he a home run king? Farone, semi home run king. Desire I says he's a home run king. So that is a home run to dead center field. And the Stooges are on the board. And the folks in Ticonderoga are excited. Curly doing a dance. Here's Alex Imbrogno. 116, is he fresh? Yes, he's semi fresh. The side eye says he is, so it's the seventh strikeout for, Shat, for uh, Gross. He got mad about the home run, I guess, and went for the strikeout. Here's Santos Uranetta. 113, ace or dynamic? No, he's not. Slugger, is he a slugger? Yes, he is. He's a slugger, so he's going to double to left field. So a double, a two out double for the catcher, Uranetta. And the Stooges are still in business for Ismael Castillo. Three, four, six. Blank for the pitcher. Is he eager? No, he's not. He's going to walk. That's going to put two on with two out. And that's going to bring up Mr. Law. Bud Law, number eight hitter. Oh, I know what it was. I didn't let. Sh I didn't record Shao's strikeout. That's. I got all screwed up here, folks. Sorry about that. Here's Law. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Utility or Sad Sack? He's a semi-utility. Decider Dice says no. So it's a triple into the gap. Unless he's a home run king. He's a semi-home run king, but again, says no. But it will be a triple for Law. That's a two-run triple for Law. And it's 3 nothing Stooges. And they're saying take that. Here's Steve Shaw, the pitcher, struck out his last time up. Two, three, four. We do have runner on base. He's on third base, so we do have plate drama. So we're going to the plate drama chart. And let's take a look at the plate drama and see how we do there. Plate drama. One, six. One, six says catcher iron. Note the catcher for the... Space Cadets is McAvoy, and he's neutral, so he is not going to allow a pass ball. It's simply going to be a ball one count, but we'll go to the umpire chart with a runner at third. So umpire, runner at third chart, which is right here. So we'll see what the umpires have to say about that. Four, six, lenient umpire at home. Nope, Manny Hernandez is semi-respected, so he's not lenient. If he was lenient, Claims ball four, misses corner for ball. Other umpires call strike two, batter still at bat. So he's going to have to keep the at bat going and won't get the cheap walk. So Shao's going to have to try to earn it. Four, six, six. I'm sorry, four, four, six. Is he a star? No, Gross is not a star. 
sad sack utility or patient he's all of that well he's sad sack and utility anyway so it's called strike three on mr shaw and the innings over but three big runs take place here in the fourth and the stooges now grab a three nothing lead on the space cadets so now Shao out there with a three nothing lead here's mariano hernandez three four five iron catcher catcher urinetta is not iron good eye he does not have the good eye so it's a strikeout another strikeout strikeout number eight for Shao. and now we go to the right now chart because that was in blue and look at what the batters did last time actually ruelas singled his last time so he's semi-hot Shao uh, got the strikeout he's also semi-hot so we got semi-hot against semi-hot now they're both hot five five timeout conference at the mound play resumes batter draws a base on balls now i do this in this game all the time i roll four fours and five fives on those right now charts and that constitutes walks and it drives me crazy it seemed to do it i don't know why but it just seems to work out that way and walks do irritate me all right here is kogi Hirota. Short stop with one out and one on. 116, is he fresh? Yes. Sire die gives it to him. Strikeout again. I believe that's number nine for Shao. And now that'll bring up Gross, the pitcher, and just in the fourth inning, you're not gonna or fifth inning, he's gonna go and let him swing away. 145. Struggler, no, it's ground out to third. And the inning is over. So five shutout frames by Mr. Shao as the Ticonderoga Stooges maintain that three nothing lead and Donnie Lee Gross will see what he can do back to the top of the order for Grant Eagle struck out twice one one four is he fresh no desire dies a blank so he's not fresh sad sack or patient no he's not it's a single to right field so it's a leadoff single for Grant Eagle the Eagle has landed on first base and that's in purple so we're going to the chemistry chart for dave wedge they are both harmonious now with that decider die one four batting team distance nope if they were to be a dribble to the pitcher otherwise it's a single so back-to-back -back singles a lead die of one means a one base advancement so runners at first and second nobody out and the heart of the order coming up and now the bullpen for the space cadets is loosening as we have right-hander Reese Bonberger loosening in the bullpen. Right now it's Alvaro Morgan. Two on, nobody out. Five, six, six. Is he wild? No, does he have a good eye? No, he doesn't. It's a strikeout. So Donnie Lee Gross connects with another strikeout. It's also in blue, so we're going to the right now chart for Steve Farone. Barone homered his last time, so he's semi-hot. Gross got a strikeout. He's semi-hot. See what the decider died? They're both hot. And I rolled a double four. Wouldn't you know it? Batter call, timeout. Ball four. That's amazing. It, there, there's something about these dice that gravitate to double four or double five when I'm on these charts. Just to make me get walks and make me irritated. It, I know it's a conspiracy. Can't figure out how, but it's a conspiracy somehow or another that's causing that. If there's anything in the playbook that I would change, it would be this 4-4 result and 5-5 result over here. But otherwise, great game. Just change those one things. All right, here's in Brogno. Bases loaded, one out. Looking for the double play. 3-3-4. Three, three, Acer star, no. Sad sack. No, he's not a sad sack. It's a single to the left unless he's eager. He's not eager. So it will be a single. And let's check runner advancement with the lead die of 3 two bases on any hit so two runs will score it's five nothing stooges and that's going to be it for mr gross he is out of there and Ferone also goes to third so runners will be at the corners when we resume play runners at the corners and one out and donnie lee gross is out of there and coming in is mr reese bonberger He's a semi-star, semi-flash with control, but since he's coming in mid-inning, he will get the ace quality on this one at bat. So he will get the ace quality. 
at least for this at bat. So let's see if that will help him out here against your Renetta. One five six. Is he a whiffer? No, he's a semi whiffer. The side die says no. So we got outfield drama, and in the outfield for the Space Cadets, Bender is semi iron. The other two outfielders are neutral. So they need to avoid right field. Check. Two 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 two. Center fielder gold. No, he's not gold. So it's a single. Wild throw. Batter second on error because he wasn't a gold center fielder. So it's a single. That will score for Roan. Makes it six to nothing. And Brogno would have gone to second, but now he goes to third on the errant throw. And the runner, Aranetta, goes to second on the play by the center fielder. So Pender, I'm sorry, a Kettle. Kettle is steaming after that and allowing the runs. Those That run is charged again to Donnie Lee Gross, so we cannot close the book yet on him. But it started out as a great book, and now the finish, not so good. All right, that'll bring up Castillo. Castillo runs at the corner, still only one out. 1-1-2, one, one, flash. Yes, no, semi-flash. Decide I says no, so I take it back. Sad sack. He's not a sad sack. Check with score, so that means we got either a hit or an error on the score chart, micro chart score, right here. Two, base hit off the glove of the shortstop, so it's a base hit. Lead die of one means a one base advancement, but that will score in Brogno from third, and it is now seven to nothing, Stooges. And they can close the book now on Gross. He's given up all seven runs. Don't know how many are earned versus unearned because I haven't done the totals with the errors yet. So we'll do that later. But right now, runners are at first and second with still only one out. And Bud Law steps to the plate. Four, six, six. Control. He does have control, which means he gives up a single to left field. Lead die of four means two base advancement, so it's now eight to nothing. Stooges running away with this and making it a laugher. And it's also going to be the third hit in a row allowed by Bonberger. He is now a semi struggler with Shao coming to the plate. Ninth man to bat in the inning. Well, it gets worse. Six, six, six. Is he an ace? No. Does he have a good eye? I'm sorry, is he a sad sack? Yes, he is a sad sack. So the only thing to help him there is him being a sad sack. Otherwise, it would have been a glove check. It will be a fly to center, which is a sacrifice fly. So yet another run comes across the plate. As Castilla will score from third on the sacrifice fly by the pitcher. And now they've added around as Eagle, who let off the inning, is back up to the plate again. It is definitely a laugher. Nine to nothing. One five six. Is he a whiffer? No, he's not. We got outfield drama again with the runner at first and two down. Please don't let me draw the four four. All right, one four. Right fielder gold. No, the right fielder is iron or semi iron. So it's going to be a single to right field. And with the lead die of one, it's a one base advancement. The runners are at first and second, but it was in red, so we're going to the experience chart for this at bat. Wedge is a semi prospect. Bonberger is neutral. And since he got that sack fly, he's no longer a struggler. Alright, so experience check. 2 5. Icon batter. No, he's a prospect batter. If he was icon, he would deliver a chopped single pass short, otherwise, he lines to third. I don't think you can see that very well. Bring that book up a little bit more, I guess. You have to trust me on that. So it is a it is a line out to third. So the inning is mercifully over, but not before. One, two, three, four, five, six runs come across. And at the end of five, it's an ugly scene here in Ticonderoga. It is Ticonderoga nine and Roswell nothing. As we go to the top of the sixth, 
last inning of semi-freshness possibly for Mr. Shao. Depends on if he keeps the shutout going or not. Shao will be facing the top of the order in Pender. So it'll be Pender to lead things off. 2-2-4, two, two, pitching at home. Yes, he is. It's a pop out to short. So first time we got the home field advantage taking effect. Circle that one as well. So let's pop up short. One away. Here's Mazzoli. 1-3-4, gold catcher, no. Champion, nope. Sire dies a blank, so he's not a champion. It's an outfield drama. So we'll check the outfield. And again, right fielder Morgan is semi-iron. And Law in left field is semi-iron. Now they'll all be neutral. 2-4. Two, 2-4 four. Two, four is the center fielder. Is he gold? No. Eagle is not gold. He's neutral. So we'll drop in for a base hit. One out single also takes us into the chemistry chart because it was in purple. So chemistry we go for the bat of Todd Sargent. He struck out twice despite his card. 5-6. They're both neutral now. Pitching team dissonance? Nope. So it's another strikeout. So Todd Sargent is taking the hat trick. Despite having such a great card. And it's also in blue, so we're going to stay right here for the right now chart. Shao is hot pitcher. And Kettle's a neutral batter. So hot pitcher against a neutral batter. 1-3. Cold pitcher. No, he's not. So it's a fly to shallow center. And that's going to end the inning. So... We go to the bottom of the sixth, and I think we're going to have a new pitcher for the Space Cadets as Bonberger has had enough. And let's see, Mac of, uh, see Morgan's coming up, and he's a righty, so they'll go to they will go to right-hander Diego Navarre. So Diego Navarre will be the pitcher. He does not get that boost of an ace on the first play because he's starting the inning versus coming in midstream. So there he is. His only quality is semi-flash. It's the only quality he has. So we'll see what he can do. As Bonberger was not exactly good relief. All right, so let's move the book up here a little bit more where you can see it. All right, Morgan. Oh, triple one. How do you like that? He's not an ace. Is he a scrapper? No, he's not. It's a home run for Alvaro Morgan. It is now 10 to nothing in favor of the Stooges. It's a double-handed slap, five-finger discount twice makes it now 10 to nothing as a group as a group uh, greet Mr. Navarre rudely. Here's Steve Farone. 256. Is he a struggler? No. Champion or patient? He's neither one. Infield drama. First infield drama we've had in a while. If at all. 2-5. Two 2-5. Five. Two five, second baseman, iron. Second baseman is Hernandez. He's semi-gold, so he's not iron. So it will not be a single. It'll be a routine ground out. One away for Alex and Brogno. One, two, three, flash and fresh. He's semi flash. Saturday gives it to him. First inning, he's fresh, so it will be a strikeout for out number two. Zimbrogno goes down. Here's your Renetta. Two, five, six, struggler, no. Champion or patient, neither one. Back to infield drama. We try it again. Four, six. Shortstop, gold. Shortstop is Hirota. He's semi gold. Saturday gives it to him. So it is gold, and he's out at first to end the inning. So we go to the top of the seventh, still 10 to nothing. I'm sorry, it's now 10 to nothing. I put a zero there by mistake. Let me wipe that out. That home run by Morgan makes it 10 to nothing. So we'll fix that later. But right now it is 10 to nothing as we go to the seventh. And Shao. Still semi-fresh because he's got the shutout going. So that keeps his semi-freshness. Probably his last inning. He's set to bat next inning. So seven innings would be good for him. No sense wearing him out opening day. Here's Chuck McAvoy. Oh, triple five. 
It's ace or star. He is an ace, so it's a deep fly out to right field. One away. Could have been disastrous if he wasn't an ace. Here's Hernandez. 3-5-6. That's another left-right split. This time Hernandez is a lefty against the righty. He's going to get the hit. Unless he is utility or sad sack, he's semi-utility, but the sire die says no. So Hernandez gets the base hit. We'll circle that one as well. So that's three. That's five left-right checks already in the game. So can't really discount that. That's going to come up and bite you when you don't play for it. Here's Ruelas. One, four, six. Flash. Yes, he's got double flash. Could be another double strikeout. Unless he has a good eye. Ruelas does not have a good eye. Neither does Kuroda, so they both strike out. Back-to-back -back Ks. Double eye poke. The double eye poke will take care of it as Steve Shaw. Finishes with a flurry. If that's his last uh, bit of work, and I think it is, he finishes with a flurry. Check out his strikeout totals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I count? I thought I counted more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven strikeouts. So no runs and eleven strikeouts for Shao. He walked two. And how many hits did he give up? He gave up one, two, three. Three hits. So the line on Shao is a good one. Seventeens pitch, three hits, no runs, two walks, eleven strikeouts, and of course will almost assuredly qualify for the win. All right, we go to the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch time here at Good Sports Park. Score: Ticonderoga ten, Roswell nothing. poke thing didn't quite work out the way I wanted. Didn't have it lined up quite that good. There we go. Kind of hard to do it coming at yourself like that. It's kind of the wrong direction. Oh well. Tried to try to get it done that way, but uh, sometimes things like that don't work. But I was trying to shock everybody and maybe wake everybody up from this 10-0 slumber. 
as now we go to the bottom of the seventh and Mr. Castillo it'll be Castillo Law and Shao but Shao of course will be pinch hit for by Reggie Horner so Reggie Horner is going to come in and pinch hit for Shao in the bottom of the inning and we'll get a new pitcher in for the Stooges in the top of the eighth so Shao goes his seven innings and we'll get a new pitcher but right now it is Castillo Law and then Horner the pinch hitter facing Navarre for his second inning of work he's now semi fresh 3-4-5 iron catcher no he's not iron does he have a good eye no he doesn't it's a strikeout so Castillo out on strikes and it's in blue so we're going to the right now chart we got a hot pitcher Facing a hot batter because he got a single last time, did Mr. Law. So it's hot against hot. No decider die needed. And I rolled a five. You're witnessing all this stuff, folks. Every time I go to this right now chart, it's either 4 4 or 5 5 majority of the time. And of course, 5 5 is another walk. I almost feel like just when I do that, saying, hey, it's a foul ball, we'll redo it. But I guess that wouldn't be correct. Okay, so we now we got a runner at first with one out for the pinch hitter, Reggie Horner. 135. 135 is the unusual play, and a black one means you're going to the ballpark. So, the ballpark in this case is Good Sports Park. Horner is a lefty, so it plays semi small to Reggie Horner. See if Reggie Horner can deposit one out of here. If we can get a small check, and we do. 1 2, 1 2. Big ballpark drives liner to gap and single for center. Otherwise, center fielder makes the catch. So, that time. Since it was a small ballpark, the center fielder had less area to cover, so he was able to run over and make the catch. And Mr. Horner will now go sit back in the corner. So there's two down for Grant Eagle. Three, four, four. Prospect pitcher. No, he's an icon. Patient. He's not patient. It's popped a second. And the inning is over. So we go to the eighth inning with a score still 10-0 in favor of the Stooges. It's going to be all for Navarre. He went two innings as far as he's going to go. He is scheduled to lead off this inning, but we're going to have a pinch hitter, of course. But first, we have got a new pitcher for for the uh, Stooges. That's the first act of business. So with the 10-0 lead, they're going to use one of their lesser pitchers, save their better pitchers for later. And we will go to Jeff Plum. No relation to Eve. Jeff Plum. Jeff Plum coming in with a 10-0 lead, so they feel pretty safe about that. And the pinch hitter, since Plum is a left Plum is a righty rather, so they need a lefty off the bench. And they're gonna have their backup catcher. Make room for Darren Room. He's gonna pinch hit. Here in the eighth against Plum. 2-3-4. Nobody's on base, so not play drama. He's not a hot batter because he just came in the game. It's a pop-up to third. And there is one away. So we go to the top of the order again for Mr. John Pender. 4-4-5. Four, four, is he a workman? Yes, he's a semi-workman. The side die says he's a workman, so it's a double to right field. Double to right field for Mr. Pender. And finally, the Space Cadets have something going here. Here's Ron Mazzoli. One, two, three. He's got double flash and he is fresh. So flash and fresh means a strikeout. But it also means, because he's double flash, that means we've got two strikeouts in a row. That means Mazzoli and Sargent are both going to strike out. And for Sargent, that is his fourth strikeout and another double eye poke to end the inning. And for Sargent, he's got the Golden Sombrero with four strikeouts. Despite his great card, he's got four strikeouts. Incredible. All right, we go to the bottom of the eighth. We need a new pitcher for the Space Cadets. I don't know who they want to give that task to in this blowout. They'll go ahead and send in Morgan Cooksey. So Morgan, Morgan Cooksey is on. He's a semi-workman. A lefty. So Morgan Cooksey. 
will be on. Plum goes one inning. I'm sorry, I'm not Plum. I got Plum goes one inning for the. I got my spots mixed up. I'm not used to using this particular scorecard, so I used to using my own. So let me fix that. Plum, of course, was pitching for the Stooges, so Navarre went two innings actually. So now we've got Cooksey going to try to get this one inning out of the way, as they only only have to pitch eight innings, being the road team. So Cooksey will be facing Wedge, Morgan, and Farone. If anybody reaches in Brogno. 145. Struggler. No, he's a semi workman, not a struggler. So it's a ground out to third, one away. So Wedge is gone. Here's Morgan. He homered his last time. 115. Is he fresh? Yes, it's a pop out to the infield of our choice. We'll say he pops it up to the shortstop. Two down. Here's Farone, lefty on lefty. 114. Is he fresh? Yes, it's a ground out to short. In the inning. So, Mr. Cooksey pitches one perfect inning for the Space Cadets. But it is a 10 0 ball game as we go to the top of the ninth, and we'll get a new pitcher in for the Stooges. They don't want, they just want one inning reliefing if need be. Actually, you know what? They're going to leave Plum in. Well, they want that shutout. So they want to see if they can't maintain that shutout. So they will go to left-hander Ross Nutter. So Ross Nutter, the lefty, he's a star with flash and control. They want that shutout. So Mr. Nutter will be on. He will not get the ace quality because he is starting the inning. Mike Kettle, the lefty, coming up. So we got lefty on lefty matchup. Mike Kettle. 2 3 5. Is he wild? No, he's got control. Eager? He is not eager. So he's going to ground to second unless he has, unless he's patient, which he is not. So it's a ground out to second, one away. Got to bring up McAvoy, the catcher. 1 4 5. Struggler? No, it's ground ball to third. Two down, so one out away from the shutout. And here is Mariano Hernandez. He might get pinch hit for because he's a lefty. So they're going to bring in right-hander Kareem McCarthy, who is a semi-hero. So Kareem McCarthy is going to come on and pinch hit for Hernandez. Not that it really matters, but just to get him in a, in a bat. McCarthy, the righty. 135, and that is going to be an unusual play. The red one and the black five is going to take us to box and bogeys. Red one, black five, box and bogeys. Could end the game on box and bogeys. Three, four. A balk, runners advance, but there's nobody on base to advance, so it's going to be just like a foul ball. And we'll reboot everything. Here's McCarthy again. Three, three, five. Is he wild? No. Sad sack. No, it's a base hit, single. Uh, says here, he is good, thank goodness. It says here, stolen base with stoic holds. He's semi stoic. Decided I says he's stoic because steal when you're down 10 nothing would be kind of ridiculous. In fact, I'd probably override it just because it didn't make any sense. Here's Ruelas. 2 3 5. Wild, no. Eager. Is he eager? He is sem semi eager. Decided I says he's eager. So he's going to single through the shortstop unless he's a whiffer. He happens to be a whiffer. That little thumb there says he's a whiffer, and the ball game is over on a strikeout. And it is a complete shutout and whitewashing by the Stooges as they take care of the Space Cadets by the final score of 10 to nothing. All kinds of offensive heroes in this game, but the Shao may be the biggest hero, the starting pitcher. So. Messy score sheet, didn't really get through all the totals all that well. We'll go ahead and finish up here. Uh, Plum went one inning, gave up a hit, struck out two. And one strike out there with one hit. So unofficially, I have the Roswell 
Space Cadets, no runs, five hits, and one error. The Stooges, ten runs. Let's check the hits out. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Going for twelve hits. So there's your final line score here at Good Sports Park. It was the Ticonderoga Stooges whitewashing the Roswell Space Cadets by the score of 10 to nothing. 10 runs, 12 hits, one error for the Stooges. No runs, five hits, and one error for the Space Cadets. And even though they won, Mo still says there's room for improvement. If they don't improve, you might institute 81C and they don't want that. So, starting the season 1-0 is Ticonderoga, and we'll see how they do the rest of the year. Um, the other teams are going to be using the universal results chart, but uh, Ticonderoga has two more games, or actually one more game, with Roswell, because Roswell's an out-of-division game. They're in the not-so-far east, so you only play them two games home and road, so it's only a quick two-game set here with Roswell. So. They got the second game coming up, and they may have put the fear in Roswell after this one. They may be a little shaky about trying to uh, tread in the sp space of the Stooges. Be afraid of getting more eye pokes. In fact, in this, uh, I, the double eye poke, I squared up double eye pokes three times. There were three double eye pokes. Up three double eye pokes, and on the scoreboard, it almost was a perfect fit for my fingers to do a double eye poke on the Roswell team right there, double eye poke with a double flash in three spots. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that presentation of Ticonderoga Stooges baseball. Remember growing up, Stooges were always on Saturday mornings, usually around 10 o'clock. So that's when this is going to be premiering. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed that, uh, despite the fact that it was a blowout. Try to keep it somewhat entertaining. Uh, if you're not that familiar with History Maker Baseball, some of the rules may have you know, gotten by you a little bit or whatever. It's actually a very quick game to learn, very easy to learn. Uh, base running is all given out for you, so there's really nothing, there's really no, no uh, you know, the learning curve on this is very, very small. So hopefully, just by watching me play it, it was enough for you to see uh, how it's played if you haven't seen it before if you've watched any of my videos though you've probably seen this game numerous times so should be second hand all right that's going to do it from here again final score the stooges with that nice victory 10 to nothing a whitewashing of the space cadets sending them back to roswell after game two probably sending them back a little bit battered and bruised Depending on what happens in game two, you never know. So that's it from here. And until next time, we will see you all down the road.